Hey there YouTube, it's Ryan Welton Music and it's Labor Day weekend. I'm not recording anything this weekend besides this vlog. But now, it's time for a little getaway. I'm gonna show you where I'm going. Coming up next, come with me. are packed it's gonna be a little road trip and we're heading north but where are we going oh let's check oh my goodness got on the cords right there got my pillow gotta take my pillow oh yeah we are going to the land of royals 32 years since i've been to kaufman stadium back then it was called royal stadium so it's time for me to exchange this for this I don't know if you can hear it behind me, but it's high school marching band at the Guthrie Blue Jays game here in Guthrie, Oklahoma. We're here to stop at a place called Stacy's Place. It's got home cooking and soul food. I'm hungry, let's eat. Good morning everybody, it's my first morning here in Wichita, we're headed up to Kansas City to go see a Royals game, but last night we stopped through Guthrie, Oklahoma at a place called Stacy's Place, had the meatloaf, had some cobbler, and then we stopped at the bar here at the hotel, and that means I have an early morning wake up call and an appointment with the treadmill. Good morning. It's a fairly respectable two mile run. Um, I'm trying to train up for the half marathon in Oklahoma City, which I've done three times before. But the thing is, is that with mom dying last year and the wedding this year, I'm just way out of practice in terms of the discipline that it takes to train. <clears throat> and so, even after a night of gluttony last night, we went to Stacy's Place in Guthrie, and then we went to Dockham at the bottom of this hotel in Wichita and had a couple of drinks. I still got up this morning, did my run, and I feel good. We're headed to Kansas City to see the Royals tonight. My first trip to Kauffman Stadium in 32 years. My very first baseball game, Major League, was at Royals Stadium in 1982. I even remember who was pitching. It was Dennis Leonard, I believe, for the Royals in an eight nothing win over Cleveland. Love that stadium, love the fountains, ready to hit the road.
Sunday morning, day two, full day two of the Labor Day weekend getaway. We had a great time at Royal Stadium, a little backstory. So uh, I say Royal Stadium, that's what it was back when I went there in the 80s. I was there in 82 for a Dennis Leonard victory over Cleveland, eight to nothing. And it was a very boring game, a lot of singles, a lot of doubles. Last night was a seven to five win for the Royals over the Orioles and a couple of home runs, uh, some big hits and uh, a big bottom of the eighth inning from the Royals to give them the win. Not a great team and you know, it's uh, neither one of these teams are very good. I uh, don't really actively root for the Royals anymore. I'm a Rangers man. I root for the Dodgers in the NL. I like the Nats. I like the Royals. I like a lot of teams. I like sports. And I love stadiums, and I love the architecture of stadiums. If you're not familiar, uh, Royal Stadium, Kauffman Stadium, I keep calling it Royal Stadium because that's what it was for years and years and years before it was called the K. Um, but it was designed by the same guy who architected Dodgers Stadium. And he wanted to put fountains in center field for Dodger Stadium, and I don't know why that never happened. It's a beautiful stadium. It has a very space-age sort of top. It was built in the late 60s, early 70s. It debuted in 1973. I don't know that they actually started building in the late 60s. But it's a beautiful stadium, and it's the easiest stadium to get in and out of that I've ever experienced, especially for a professional team. I can't imagine it's like that for the Chiefs, who live right next door at Arrowhead Stadium. But for the Royals, it was, it was really fantastic. Anyway, got some coffee here Sunday morning. And we're about to head out and explore Kansas City. A lot of things on the plate, possibly. We have the uh, Negro League Baseball Hall of Fame here in Kansas City. We have a World War I museum. Uh, there is a college basketball experience. There is a jazz museum. Um, the barbecue place that was recommended to me, I know that there's Oklahoma Joe's and Arthur Bryant's, but my buddy Jeff recommended Q39, so that's what we're going to try to hit today. Um, anyway, great day ahead.